Uh, Maple Leafs in town. What's your pre-scout on them? Or uh, watched them last night. Obviously, we played them once already. <laughs> Interesting, just doing it um, between the two. Not just because their changes, but because of the schedule and injuries, rosters, all that. There could be 13 different players in the lineup tonight for both teams. That's a lot. Play teams twice a year. So does that change your approach at all with the number of new faces they've, they've got? Or? No. We got to keep focused just on our group, I think. It'll be more important. Maybe score aside, Daryl, what have you liked about your starts here in the last uh, handful of games? You know, you just got to put shifts together. Like you're trying to get an over and over attitude with your group. So, uh, and when you get into your schedule again, when you're doing, when you're in a busy schedule, you, you, know, you can't have any, you need close to eight games from everybody. Since you brought Walker back up or, or put him back in, yeah. what's been sort of your assessment of, of what you've seen from that, that line with Lewis and, and Luch? I think they're really good last game. I think they tailed off at the uh, end of the trip again, but I think they're really. I think they tried to make a difference last game. I think uh, Walker alone gives you know gives you some speed there, which makes a big difference. I think that's visible. Sort of a, a little different schedule than we're used to seeing from your group with back-to-back -back optionals. What's the thinking behind that? Because of a lot of overtime games. You got guys playing heavy minutes. <laughs> we saw a couple of the Leafs players kind of get traded mid practice, and the guys escorted him out. I wonder if, for you, uh, is there a memorable trade day or tr a trade deadline moment for you as a player, coach, or GM? Yeah, I think probably all three there would have been, but obviously, when you make trades to win championships, uh, I don't think the day itself, but leading up to the to the day, I mean, the day itself is more of a media thing, right? So it's four or five days prior usually, which then you see that again this year. Um, but I think uh, in LA, when uh, you know, we made a Jeff Carter trade, and we made a Marion Gabrick trade, those are pretty big trades when you look at it. Darrell, these days, how involved is the head coach in those discussions in terms of this might be an option, this might be an option? Yeah, you know what, I think it just depends where you're at with your team, I think. I mean, if there's guys that are way underachieving or guys that you, know, you want to be really, you know, you, you're quite honest as a coach, you back your players. That's what you do. And I said that yesterday, you know, it's, everybody's, everybody's talked about all these players on the outside. Well, if your team is still in the growth part of it, you better be taking them, make sure you're mindful of, of your young guys that are having really good years and you're not going to push them out uh, for some short-term fix. I think that the Wranglers are having a, you look at their season and there's some young guys, including those two boys we brought up, that are uh, fairly significant players in the American Hockey League. You talked a lot about Jacob's uh, energy and what he brings to the game, but are you seeing uh, in, any more confidence in the offensive zone You know, with him? Yeah, I think so. I don't, But his puck play is pretty... You know, it's it's up to standard pretty good for this league. I just think that I think he's given the line a boost, quite honest, with his energy and his pace. Does he give the bench a boost? It seems like every time you see him, he's kind of he's chattering on the bench. Yeah, I think that's his that's his personality. Joe, you know, with the Leafs in town, what comes to mind when you think of the Leafs back in the day? Uh, original six, obviously in the Chicago division. All those years, the old Norris Toronto was in our division. So you had three of the original six. That's always for me is the then it was Toronto, Detroit, Chicago all in one division. That was uh, I always enjoyed that. Players feel an extra buzz on the bench when there's a team like this in town? I don't know, you'd have to ask them. Do you feel an extra energy in the building? I've got extra energy because I'm pretty sure we gotta win tonight. Not really worried about the opponent. <laughs> <laughs>